Welcome back, it's Ragtar, and I am playing that Tokyo Jungle, playing as everyone's favorite character, the human, because it's us, so why would it not be our favorite character? I'm just kidding, maybe, in fact, I'd say my favorite character, personally, and I think any long-time viewers of the series probably know what my favorite character is. My favorite character in Tokyo Jungle is totally the Beagle, which, I think it's just because... A, for some reason, I find beagles to be incredibly, like, adorable, and B, the beagles in this game have, like, unbelievably amazing stats. But, I mean, beagles were originally hunting dogs, right? So, it's not too so- oh, that's poison. So, it's not too surprising that they have amazing stats. I also remember just now, I'm supposed to be getting 20 kills, so let's- like, I'm sort of skipping around and avoiding the animals, but I was like- I should at least be taking a second to stop, think about what every animal is, and that way I'm not necessarily missing out on kills that I could possibly be getting. It's also nice that it's not raining right now, so I can actually see at night, because humans, dude, see, this guy probably, before the impending apocalypse, maybe, oh, poison, he probably ate a lot of tomatoes, and tomatoes are a good source of lycopene, so maybe he has really good vision. And I, I guess, actually, this guy probably doesn't have great vision. I mean, he is wearing glasses, but, you know, a lot of the times people with glasses, after the glasses, they have better vision than people that don't wear glasses. I don't know. I'm kind of talking on, like, random, random-ass tangents right now. One thing that I was going to talk about in this episode is, by the time this episode airs, it is probably going to be in two days that I will be departing for PAX. So, one thing that I think I'm going to do just for the hell of it, since I'm not really going to be around during PAX, I think I'm gonna, going to try... Wh where are all the animals? This is really... I need to kill 20 animals, and there's like no animals around here. So what I'm going to try and do while I'm at PAX is, I'm going to try and have... For every one of the four days, I'm going to try and have an episode of Tokyo Jungle, just for the hell of it. I'm just like, you know what? We'll just do four straight days, Tokyo Jungle, while I'm at PAX. And I'm also going to try and have an episode of Mario Galaxy ready for every day at PAX. And then I think when I come back from PAX, a new game is coming out. And I think... Oh, there's the there's the Vantage. I thought it was... Oh! I thought you had to be on top of a building, but I see it. Tokyo Tower is off there in the distance. Okay. But yeah, so I think what I'm going to try and do... Is have... A video ready for every single day of PAX. And... Then when I get back, maybe try and start a new series, but I'm not sure. I could just say right now what the new series is going to be, but I don't, I'm not sure if I should... I mean, I think the game is already out, so there's no reason I shouldn't announce it. I think the... well, I think it comes out by the time I get back, but I'm not sure. So the next game that I'll be playing on my channel is actually going to be... I hope these crows... Yes! I need those kills! Thank you, crows! Thank you for eating that monkey. But yeah, so... I'm not sure if it comes out... I know it comes out in September, but I'm not sure when in September. I'm gonna be playing Kingdom Hearts HD Remix on my channel. I'm really excited to start that project. That's actually... I haven't had, like, a long-haul project in a while. Well, aside from Tokyo Jungle, I mean... If you think about it, Tokyo Jungle is like... Tokyo Jong Jong is like the longest long-haul project I've ever had on my channel, like... There is no project that's been going on longer than this project. So, I can't say that this is not a long project, but... I haven't played, like, one long video game, I think, since, like, Nino Kuni. So, I'm very excited... ...to, uh... ...to have a new long video game to try out on my channel. So... That's gonna be happening. And I don't know, PAX is gonna be really fun. I'm actually gonna try and... ...uh, keep up... So, uh, usually when I'm at conventions and stuff... I don't keep up with comments very well, and the reason is because I don't have, like, a laptop, but this year... I got a new thing. I got... a tablet. So, what I'm gonna try and do this year... at PAX is try and keep up with... Oh, there's, like, nothing in... Oh, no, no, no! Wait, what? What's happening in the sewer? Oh, yeah, not something I care about. I was trying to see if maybe it was an event that involved animals, so I'm gonna try and keep up with comments. I always do, as everybody knows, maybe... I really do, I read all the comments on every video. I try and respond, anytime I have like a pertinent response that would be helpful or interesting to a viewer, I try and respond. 
Dude, I want to jump punch that bird. Bird, come back here. I want to jump punch you because I need to kill 20 animals right now. Okay. Where are these birds going to land? Oh, they're going to land on top of the building. Man, I almost want to go into the sewer and see what animal- Oh, here's some animals. Yay! And this crow is just waiting to get fucking donkey punched right in the face. Alright. Oh, whoa, 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 what's on me? I just got a 100%- Oh, I got more crows on me. That's perfect. Yeah, come defend your fallen brethren. Crow, come on. Defend your fallen brethren. Oh, he's gonna come eat the other crow. Well, that works too. As long as I can get some more kills off that, I don't even care. Alright, challenge list. I have seven more animals that I need to kill. Let's do it. We're hopping into the sewers. And hopefully I can find some animals that are in need of murdering or like just begging to die in the sewers, but... It looks pretty destitute in here. This is actually one thing that I've never been sure about in this game. So when the game shows how much food there is in an area, I've never actually been sure if um, that only shows, like, the type of food for the type of creature you're playing, or if that also, like, shows, um, animals, because it'd be really useful for me to, like, know if that- if the food number also included animals that I can't eat, because then I could know if there was stuff to kill as well, but... It looks as though it might be the case that it does not include animals that I can't eat, because I am not seeing any animals down here. This is super bad. I might lose a challenge just because there's not enough stuff for me to kill. No. I'm not giving up hope yet. I'm gonna make it. I am gonna find... Here, let's head up to the surface. How... How's the surface looking? Dude, Underground Facility has a lot of shit, but it's probably all... If... If you play this game, you know as well as I know, it's probably all freaking dinosaurs, which means it's not anything that I want to mess with. Alright, animals, why aren't you here either? There's food, at least, see, it's funny because I came here because it showed that there was food on the map, but I think I'm definitely sure now that when the game shows food, I mean, I've known this for a long time, but I always, I'm never 100% sure, I'm always suspicious that it's not completely true. When the game does show food, it means the type of food that your type of creature can eat, so... If you're a carnivore, it shows how many animals are on the map, and if you're an herbivore, it shows how many plants are in the area. So this is really bad. Seriously. And Dog and Zaka's got nothing. I don't even care where food is. I care where animals is. I bet Shibuya Woods is probably just, like, to piss me off. It's probably still full of, uh... Oh, hey! Wolves! That'll work. Wolves are fine. I mean, I don't necessarily want to go around fighting wolves because, you know, they're deadly beasts, but hey, wolves are definitely animals that can be murdered. And if there's one thing I like, it's animals that can be murdered. Oh, dude, there's tons of- oh, but what, but what are, are they? Oh, these are totally- yay! Killing gazelles with my bare hands like a champion! Please be- yeah, I was like, be more deer or goat or whatever. That would be great. I would love you. Dude, I've always thought it was weird. I say this every time I see goat. I've always thought it was strange that there's no goat, or that the goat is not a playable animal in this game, like... They're in the game, but you can't unlock them, or are they in the game and I'm just being crazy? Oh, you can totally play as the goat. I think I'm just being crazy. Anyways... Oh, head for Shibuya Station. Cool. And I positioned myself well for such a thing. Well, that went really well. I was extremely worried that I wasn't gonna finish those challenges, but now... Challenges shall be finished. I don't even need- Look, I don't even need to kill you, goats! Oh, but I'm gonna do it anyway! Oh, yeah! Dude, that is just like a cruel- That's such a cruel thing to do. Just walk up to the goats and be like, Hey, goats! I don't need to murder you, but I'm gonna! Because I'm a monster! You know why? Because I'm a human! And human beings! They're the people that got Earth into this mess! And they don't give a fuck! They'll kill all the goats they want! Because that's what humans do! Humans are natural-born goat killers, fruit eaters, kcal maxers. Look at this. I really am just, like, being a dick now. Like, I've just randomly decided it's time to just kill all the sick deer. But look at this. Oh, whoa, there was a jackal in the pack. Dude, Jack, why don't you go after the sick deer? The sick deer are just asking for it. I am a human. I will destroy you, jackal. 
I have the art and technique. Look at my sweet attack patterns. They're unstoppable. In I'm an I'm an Asian human, which means I'm automatically trained in martial arts. That was the most racist thing I could have possibly said. I obviously don't actually believe that. Except for I do, because it's true. Alright, well, anyways, enough bullshit jacking around. I am in a zone where I can finally get some sleep, which means it's time to head for the nearest bed and sleep to death. Because I took this zone from the hippos, and I'm gonna let those animals live because I'm finally feeling merciful. So, I am going to end this episode of Tokyo Jungle right here. And there's a hippo, but luckily, see, we're cool now. They don't hate me anymore. So yeah, I'm gonna end this episode right here. In the next episode, I will be heading for the Shibuya Station, and in the next episode, I will probably be at PAX. This has been Raktar. Thank you for watching.